We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. I greet you on this wonderful day. It is the last Friday in 2022. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I'm so happy to be with you on the last Friday in 2022. And the next Friday we experience will be in the new year, 2023. So it's very important that I cover this message that I'm going to share with you today. The title of my message is Don't Skip the Challenge. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come in this place and bless me. Help me to pray. Help me to press in. Help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, in life, there are numerous challenges that we will face. And the way one sees these challenges will determine the outcome and the amount of value they gain from each of these challenges. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13, it says, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Now, the scripture speaks about temptation, but it can be likened also to challenges. It can be applied concerning the challenges you face in life because when we are faced with a challenge, there is a temptation there to fear and to give up. But we must overcome that fear and in doing so as we overcome that fear and overcome the challenge we gain so much there is insight to be gained there is training that God takes us through and there is courage that is built up ultimately it builds up our faith I'll read this to you once again it says no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man but God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. The Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. The steps of a righteous man or a righteous woman are ordered by the Lord. And God will not take you on a path where there is something that is beyond your ability. So when we are faced with challenges, when we are faced with trials, when we are faced with situations that are difficult, and we are faced with the question, should I give up or should I keep going? We should keep going in faith and trust in God. We should overcome that fear and press on. And in doing so, we will gain so much, so much value. You see, when many people see a challenge, they are faced with much fear and thoughts of whether they can overcome this challenge. Very few manage to overcome the fear and push forward and overcome the challenge. But sadly, most people are overcome with fear and end up skipping it entirely. They either skip that challenge if they can or they give up. They say, it's impossible, I can't do this. The act of skipping or avoiding challenges really robs you at the end. It robs you of the valuable insight you could have gained. It robs you of the valuable training that you could have gained. It robs you of the courage that you can gain and the boost in faith that would come about by overcoming the challenge. When we are faced with a challenge, the real challenge is the fear of that challenge. And once you overcome the fear, oftentimes you will easily overcome the challenge and the obstacle that's in front of you. If you are brave enough to say you will trust in God and you trust Him, no matter how things may look, you will see God's divine deliverance and you will see God work in such a way because you are putting your faith into action. You are applying your faith. Now, 
I am not saying go out and test God. No. But I am saying when you are faced with a challenge on your journey that God is leading you, overcome that challenge. Don't give up. Don't give in to fear. Push on and fight the good fight of faith. Believe and trust God for your deliverance and he will help you. In the year 2023, whatever challenge may come, trust God. Have faith in him. Don't give up. Continue believing in him and trust him. Whether this challenge is faced in your personal life, in business, in ministry, in your community, in your career, whatever the challenge is, perhaps it's even in your studies. Maybe there is a certain module in your studies that you say this is too difficult, I can't do this. And God is leading you to do it. Trust God and he will give you grace to overcome. I'll read the scripture once again and there's a certain part that I will highlight to you. And if you take this in, you have faith in God, God will help you. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. He will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. So that is to press on and not give up, not give in. Overcome the challenge, overcome the temptation. Overcome and not give in to it. The temptation really is to give in to fear and to quit. But God gives grace. God gives strength. God gives courage. And if you say you will trust in God, God will give you what you need in order to make it through. And saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising and thanking God. And then I'm going to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you for yet another day that you've given us. It is a wonderful day. Another opportunity to live to the fullest. And it is the last Friday in 2022. We give you praise and we lift up your name that you have given us grace to come this far. And we trust you that you will make a way to keep on going. We trust you and we trust your ability to deliver us and see us through. And we know whatever challenge we may face, there is nothing too big or too strong that can stop you from delivering us. There is nothing that is too big for you to help us through. We give you praise and thank you that in Christ, the victory is already ours. As Jesus has overcome and defeated the devil, 2,022 years ago on the cross, Jesus defeated the devil and made public spectacle of him. And on that cross, Jesus paid the price in our place. We give you praise and thank you for this. That we could be reconciled back to you. And it didn't end there. He rose again. We give you praise, Father, that he rose again. And he's alive today. And we believe that Jesus Christ, your son, is our Lord and Savior. And we believe what he came and what he achieved for us. And we know that through Christ, we can do all things. We give you praise and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, now we're going to go into a time of prayer. I want to pray with you and for you. And even as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even today, give my dear friend the grace to face whatever challenge may be standing in front of my dear friend. My dear friend who's watching this video. My dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter. Give my dear friend the grace to overcome it and not to give in to the temptation of fear. Not to give in to the temptation to give up, but to press on and to continue believing and to press on so much so with stubborn faith that refuses to give up until my dear friend receives the prize. Give my dear friend grace to run this race and to run it well. To run in such a way that my dear friend wins the prize. 
in line with your word. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God keep you. The grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.